today what we're going to do is show you how to have a low calorie diet while not being hungry. So we're going to show you how to make more voluminous foods so you still feel full throughout the day while still having a low calorie diet. We got the apples chopped up. You'll be surprised how filling it is. But anyways, you do a light dust of cinnamon over basically all the apples. Doesn't have to be a crazy amount. Boom! And right now, you can actually leave it like this and it tastes pretty good. But if the apples you've got isn't that sweet, like they're a bit more bland tasting, then I'd recommend going for the pancake syrup or any sort of low calorie zero syrup. All you have to do is just kind of slightly drizzle it. Then if you want, you can use like a spoon or something and mix it around a bit more. But personally, that's enough for me. And I'll eat this now as my first meal. You'll be surprised how filling this actually is. Anyways, what I'm gonna have with it is a nice iced coffee. So what we're gonna go for is the um, macchiato flavor of the Chocolate Boost Whey. So you basically make like a normal protein shake, you just mix it with milk and there you go. And voila, the coffee is done and I'll be having that with the apples. Try this out, trust me, it's pretty, pretty filling. And straight away right now, it's a filling meal and it's only around 300 and maybe 20 calories. And protein will be around 25-ish grams of protein. So this is pretty good for a little 300 calorie meal. It's gonna fill you up for quite a while. What is good people? I just got a package and I think it is my new weight scale from Vanity Planet. I used to have one roughly around about three years ago till it broke. With my discount code, it was $60. So that's roughly like, what, 47 pounds in UK money? But it was one of those things I thought, you know what, it did last me for years. The only reason it broke is because I poured water on the back of it by accident when I was cleaning the bathroom. And if I'm being honest, it's, my, it's the best curl I've ever had. So I just reached my hand in my pocket and just repurchased it again. So without going on too long, basically the main thing I, I like about this one was the body fat percentage. Even though I don't think it's 100% accurate, it just allowed me to have it as a baseline. So if you said I was 20% body fat, say if I was on a fat loss journey, at least it kind of showed me incrementally the number going down. So even if the original number wasn't 100% accurate, the fact that it's still going down as I'm in a cutting period or whatever, it was a good indicator for me when like training and lifting. So I wanted to get it back. Anyways, what I'm going to do now is go to the store and buy some batches for that scale. Then I'm going to come back and show you guys the next meal that I'm going to cook. Next up, if you haven't gathered, the next meal is diced lean beef with broccoli and potatoes. Um, with the broccoli, the reason I've separated it out from the potatoes and I haven't put it in there first is because the broccoli boils and cooks a lot faster than potatoes. So don't put them in at the same time, otherwise these will just turn to mush by the time the potatoes are cooked. And the reason why I've opted for sweet potatoes today instead of regular white potatoes is purely because I'm having more broccoli than usual and the taste of broccoli isn't that great. So sweet potatoes will make it easier to eat them together because the sweetness of that will just make the broccoli taste better. And another quick bonus tip is when it comes to the potatoes or in even most of the foods you cook today in a, a day when you're trying to um, basically have a low calorie diet but still filling, cut them into as small pieces as possible purely because it'll take you longer to eat each piece and therefore as you're eating your body tends to feel more full. So this is obviously not creating an extra calorie deficit or anything like that but the more bites your body does the more full you tend to be. Anyways, what I'm going to do is leave the potatoes now to boil for probably around at least 10-15 uh, minutes. And then, once the broccoli and potatoes are more or less cooked, what I'm going to do is take them out, drain them out, then add them in the pan so I can kind of make them more crispy and seared rather than just like, just a bit more soggy. So that is what I currently do. I used to use the air fryer all the time, which I don't mind, but since my girlfriend started doing the, this way, it tastes a lot better. Like the potatoes end up getting like a nice crispy, crispy, crunchy outside and the inside stays soft. So I've been trying to perfect that way of doing it rather than boiling it then put it in the air fryer. In regards to the diced beef, this is something you have to be careful of because it cooks so damn quick as well. And the problem is if you ever over, if you overcook steak, you should know this, it becomes really chewy and tough and it can hurt your teeth to be honest. So it's one of those things that you have to make sure the heat <laughs> is on an adequate heat, so not too high, not too low. So that's something to remember when cooking things like steak and even prawns, never ever overcook them. Because if you do, it just becomes really chewy and it just takes a lot of the flavor as well to make it as enjoyable. And here we 
have it for another meal. We've got the diced beef, we got the broccoli, and we got the sweet potatoes. So it's a filling high protein meal. Calories is roughly around, I think, under 450 calories, which is pretty low. Protein is still going to be pretty high because 200 grams of diced beef is still quite a lot. I think that's around 40 grams. So overall, the meal, we're looking around 45, maybe 50 grams of protein when you count the trace amounts in the veg. So I'm going to eat this right now. This is my little attempt at doing presentation by separating it out. But yeah, I've just tried to um, get more veggies back into my diet other than just like, you know, corn and stuff, which I don't mind having. In this meal, I've purposely aimed to have a lot more broccoli rather than potatoes, simply just to make the meal more filling as well. So anyways, people, I'm gonna eat this meal now and then come back to you guys and show you probably why I eat in between meals when I get peckish after this. All right, food's done. Tastes pretty good, man. I did the potatoes and the broccoli perfect that time. I didn't mess it up into mulch. Uh, next up, I'm gonna have a full pack of blueberries. I need something sweet. After most of my meal, I tend to have something sweet, if not the blueberries. Probably the jelly. You know what, I'm probably gonna have them both. I'm gonna have a full pack of blueberries and one of the jellies. All right, peeps, I also had a banana as well because I felt for one. An important tip is making sure you have low calorie foods that you can still eat quite a lot of. So for example, I've had quite a bit of food, mainly because they're low calorie. Fruits and veggies for a low calorie diet is almost gonna be important. And the reason why it's important is simply because when you're on a low calorie diet, your body needs extra nutrients because you're not eating as much calories as normal. So say typically you eat maybe say 2,300 calories and even though you're not heavily focusing on like making sure you're eating your fruits and vegetables as much as you probably should, because you're eating more amounts of food, you're still getting trace amounts from all the different things you're eating in a day. However, when you're eating a low calorie diet, you aren't eating as much food, so those trace amounts aren't gonna add up as much. So you have to purposely make sure you're eating enough fruits and vegetables, because your body needs those nutrients that contributes to gains. Even though macros and calories is what really focuses weight loss or weight gain, what I did the opposite, weight loss and weight gain, Getting your micros in point, getting enough vitamins and minerals can really help your muscle building progress. So don't avoid them and add them into your diet and trust me, they're going to be beneficial, especially if you're eating low calories like in this video. Alright, I'm all ready to start doing my cardio, but what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to start cooking the fish, so basically, by the time I get off the cardio, the fish is more or less already done. Prawns are already cooked, as you know, because they're pink prawns. And then all I'm going to have it with is some roasted vegetables. I used to eat these all the time. It's simply just like peppers, courgettes, red onions, and cherry tomatoes. Not a massive fan of cherry tomatoes, but I can tolerate them. It's a very decent pack. I used to eat them all the time, roughly around a year ago. Uh, they are quite filling, because I eat the full pack. It's 400 grams. I used to only eat half of it, but to be honest, I feel like I could eat the full pack. Tell you right now that meal filled me up so much i haven't had that much veg in one sitting in ages i was like that 400 grams is just blowing up my stomach i feel so full but what i will probably have for the very last thing even though to be honest i'm not actually that hungry but i feel like my fats is way too low at this point i think before i eat what i'm eating i think my fats for the day is probably at like i think 25 grams which is quite low so we're gonna have peanut butter i ran out of the caramel rice cake so we're gonna go old school this is the lightly salted rice cake I will say these are not as delicious as the caramel and the flavoured ones because the caramel and the chocolate ones, you can eat them on their own. On their own, these taste like damn near polystyrene, but once you add peanut butter to them, they taste pretty good. So literally what we're going to have is like a rice cake peanut butter sandwich. I've got two of them. So what we're going to basically do is lather the peanut butter in the middle. I'm only going to use literally about maybe nine grams, maybe 10 grams of peanut butter. So I'm being honest, I'm quite full right now. I'm gonna force myself to eat this. This is just a good day example of showing how you can have a day that has quite a lot of food, quite a lot of varied amount of food as well, and still have you feeling even though it's low calorie. In regards to the macros and calories, you'll be seeing it on screen now. And you'll see, even though this is a low calorie day, we still managed to have a fairly high protein day, which is great. And the funny thing is, someone that's probably having 600 calories, 
if this is like your regular calories for, some, for whatever reason like you're short or something you probably wouldn't even need to be having 160 grams of protein but if it was me cutting on these calories then you probably would but for the majority of you watching this is like your regular calories because you're a female or you're short for whatever reason even though it's pretty low you probably would only really need to reach around probably 130 maybe 140 grams of protein at most all right and i've added the peanut butter and all we do is that i normally just twist this to make sure the peanut butter is mixed everywhere and then literally just eat it now it's officially finished uh, the last of this peanut butter normally i wouldn't personally recommend recommend this brand i normally have like 100 natural peanut butter so every last drop of this peanut butter i normally get it from either my protein or muscle food but my sister bought me two of these uh, for my birthday ages ago and i didn't want to be rude and tell her i didn't want it so i just made my way through it little by little but i will be restocking with the regular peanut butter i normally have or use powdered peanut butter which for most people probably be the best option especially if you're having a low calorie day something like this is going to be your friend you add a little bit of water you mix it around and it virtually tastes the same anyways people thanks for watching this full day eating let me know if the foods in the videos give me some sort of ideas of things you can do yourself so let me know for the next full day of eating what amount do you want me to go do you want me to go even lower than this or would you prefer me to go higher i want to make sure i'm covering a whole bunch of different calories in these full day beans so hopefully it can help some of you guys out that's watching Anyways, people, I'll see you in the next video. Deuces, stay game gains. Make a million cash for you flatline. Make a master plan, watch it backfire.